What's going on everybody? It's Quicksilver and uh, I'm excited today just to get a little project done. I think we're going to do a little more work over at the wood farm. We're dang near done with the thing, but I um, figure with all that extra wood we should go ahead and set about making one of these automatic charcoal furnaces. So, I've been doing a little uh, looking around online, a little experimenting on my own, and I think I found a design that I like. Um, so let's, I guess, head on over here and get that thing knocked out. Say hi to our little slimy friends here. I still need to do something here. You know, actually, this whole area. Let's get these little fappers out of here first, really fast. So we don't have to listen to them. But yeah, um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Leave me some comments. Um, not sure what I want to do with this area. I'm not really pleased with. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to have my big old stand of trees that I had over here out of here but this area just feels kinda empty to me now and I never really was a huge fan of how we had uh, finished out the slime farm there I mean it's functional I'm certainly getting a lot of slime out of it which is a good thing but um, I don't know it just looks a little funny this little thing sticking out of the wall there and then I still kinda want to do something over here I'm almost thinking maybe another water feature I've got these really cool you know water fountain things I don't know what you want to call them over there um, little waterfall -y looking guys but I'd like to do something over here and I don't know what so uh, let me know if you've got any ideas if you do I'd be love to hear them um, but yeah maybe the next episode or two or something like that maybe we'll work on something over here in the base maybe more of an aesthetic build I feel like we've been doing a lot of stuff over here although I guess this building was kind of an aesthetic thing but uh, I feel like we've been doing a lot of uh, technical builds and I think it's maybe time to goof around with something a little less technical so we'll go ahead and we'll get that guy open. Um, another thing I did note, did uh, change is I only I only have one uh, pressure plate here now. I had three in here, which was great if I was going to run back here. But if I wanted to run in here and close that door and then go around to the sides or anything like that, it was really kind of tough to get past them, especially with this low ceiling here. You couldn't really jump over them. Well, I can't there, but here, you know, you can't really jump very well. So I just went ahead and just knocked out the two pressure plates that were here, which doesn't really affect much anything. The uh, I left the redstone in here, so if I ever change my mind and I want to put those pressure plates back in there, I can, and everything's in place to take care of it and handle it. So I think uh, I think we're still in pretty good shape there. But yeah, I think um, at this point, let me go ahead and make get some um, I guess some building materials together, and I think we're going to build our little charcoal farm thing. I'd like to have it centered on the wall, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it. Uh, hell, we'll say we're just going to put it right here. I want to put it underneath one of these guys because I know there's uh, obviously, as you can see, the purple wool was just for aesthetic purposes in here. When you're outside, this is actually underground, I think. Yeah, if I look up here, you can actually see through the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you can see where the dirt is. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got all my building materials here, and then we'll come back in here and we'll start cracking on the uh, the build for this. All right, guys, so I've double checked and I think I have everything we're going to need. So, I guess the first thing we got to do is we got to build, um, it's going to be a three by two three blocks high by two blocks wide area here and I guess yeah let's just chop that thing out and we'll jump down in the hole it's probably gonna make our lives a little easier um, I think that's everything we need here although we are gonna need to be able to open up a chest so I don't know we'll, we'll kinda look at this thing we may have to monkey around with some of this stuff a little bit but we're just gonna go with it for now so alright the first thing we've gotta do we're gonna go ahead we're gonna throw a dropper here and then uh, this is gonna be kind of a challenge to build, guys. Uh, I gotta throw one here, and I gotta get another one on top of that. Can I do it from this side? Yeah, I bet you I can. Sweet. Okay, so we want to do that first. Then I think the next thing I want to do is I want to have a hopper. I can't believe I'm thinking I'm actually calling these things the right thing, guys. Feeding into that guy. So make sure that's yeah. I think that's doing the right thing there. Then I want to have a comparator picking up our signal out of the hopper. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay, and then uh, I guess back here we're going to put down a solid block. And I'm pretty sure, I think I may have, no, I can't remember, I've looked at so many of these designs, I'm not sure where I may have found this one. I think this might be a mumbo jumbo design. Uh, kind of has a feel like something he would do. 
So we're going to do that. Redstone there. So when we have items in here, it's going to feed it around. And basically what we're going to end up with on the uh, when this thing is all said and done is we'll have a chest, I believe, here. And we'll have a hopper here. And we can throw our wood blocks in here. And in essence, what it'll do is it will feed all our wood that we throw into it into... Oh, no. You know what I did? Ha! You probably do. You guys probably already noticed it because you're smart like that. I threw my furnace down here. That was a mistake. Let's see if I can fix this. <laughs> a little easily anyway. Boy, that would have been a really confusing thing to have to deal with. I don't understand why it's not working, guys. I swear I think I built it right. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So a dropper feeding into that guy, feeding up to here. So then the next thing we want to do is we need to have a furnace uh, on top of this guy. I'd like to... Mm, you know what? This is we'll temporarily tear this place up a little bit more because I want to have it actually facing this way, so we don't have to worry about seeing anything. I don't know that we would anyway, but let's just not even mess with it. So we're going to do that. What am I stuck on there? That was weird. I'll tell you, there's still some weird glitchy things going on here. All right, so there's our furnace. Then I'm going to throw a another. Dr ah, <laughs> okay. I meant to throw one of those down, not two of them. Oh no. Okay, good. It didn't feed into there. All right, so we have our other um, hopper feeding into the side of that furnace. Then we're going to throw this one down here. That's where we're going to put our wood blocks. Then, ah, I've got to make some chests. So we need to get a couple of chests here. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use two of them. Do I have a, I think I have a building guy. Uh, guys, I can't think tonight. <laughs> Crafting bench over here. Um, probably didn't even need to do that, but uh, heck, I did. We have all the, we have the wood, so we can spare, it, right? I think I had probably enough in my inventory, but that's all right. All right, so we wanted two of those guys, and what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place them on top of the dropper there and the hopper here. So what'll happen now? And that's pretty much it, guys. So what should happen now? Let's go ahead and f do this. Um, you know what? I'm going to get a torch back in here, I think, anyway. I think that's where I want it. I'm going to throw a torch in there. I don't know if any mobs would spawn there, but I'm not going to even let them try. And then I'm going to cover that guy up, and I guess... I'm not sure what block I want to put in there, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. We will throw this guy back up here, so that everything looks hunky-dory there. Uh, I guess I'll pull this out of here, and we'll throw a birch block there. I think maybe I'll just throw a cobblestone in there. That's probably going to look the best. Yeah, I think that's going to be in line with kind of what else we've got going there. How good I have some on me. So we don't have to go running around. We'll throw that there and then we'll throw our wood plank back in here. And other than the fact that I can't open that chest now because I've got a <laughs> little problem here. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to get behind there and I'll throw an inverted step down. But let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. So basically, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I got to get a charcoal or I got to get somebody in here to start with. I don't think I can just throw a log, throw my logs in there and have it actually do anything. Let's, uh, let's check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's not doing a thing right now. Yeah, that's just filling up. So what I got to do, I'll go and I'll get this started with one chart with one uh, coal block. So that's going to burn it up. So what should happen is that should turn into a piece of charcoal that should then get fed through the system. It'll get dumped into this chest momentarily. I don't know if we can watch it go through or not. It's not looking like it. Um, but it should then get fed into here and then fed into this, you know, fed into our back into the furnace here. Which, yeah, it just consumed it. We'll just watch here. We should see one get in here. It should actually outrun it eventually here. Yeah, see, so there's our there's our charcoal in there. So what will happen now, guys, is we're going to get 64 pieces of charcoal in here. We're just going to burn up a bunch of wood. Then once this thing fills up, then it'll start to backfill into this chest. And once that's happened, uh, any time that we... Um, Anytime that we throw wood into the system, it should automatically just start getting dumped in the chest. So it's it's a little expensive at first, because I think we have to have uh, five stacks, is it, of charcoal, I believe is uh, what it's going to ultimately take up there. But like I said, since we have enough, uh, since we have more than enough stuff here, more than enough wood, I think this is going to be an ideal farm. Let's just pull it out of here, rather than chop that stuff out. So I'm going to get these fed into the hopper here. And there we go. 
So yeah, that'll be five stacks, and ultimately, that's we'll just throw our wood into there, and we should have charcoal start to fill up in there once it's all done here. So yeah, we've got five of them in there now. Um, I forget what the ratio is on this thing, like how many uh, pieces of charcoal you get per uh, log that you have into this in the system. But all I can say is ultimately this thing will fill up if we keep doing it. So we no longer have to worry about uh, mining coal. Uh, I will still continue to do it as I work around the mines and stuff like that, but it's certainly not going to be a priority anymore. And I like that very much. So, all right, let me go ahead. I'm going to go AFK really fast, guys. I'm going to throw a reverse step in here so that we can finish this off. And then I will let the system run for a while, and I'll, I'll come back in here with a... Whoops, sorry about that. I'll come back in here with an update for you so you can see how that thing works. Um, probably just going to be kind of a quick little video today um, because there's not a whole lot more really to do to that thing, and that's really what I was uh, prepped and ready to do with you. So let me go ahead. Um, I'll go AFK really fast. We'll get a peek at that thing, and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay guys, so it's been a little while now, um, actually just kind of went AFK for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half or so, and just came back here to check this thing out, and here's kind of what we got going on, let me go ahead, I'll chop out a couple of blocks here, just, whoa, hello, more glitchy Minecraft stuff. Um, just so we can kind of get a look at everything that's going on here. We've still got uh, this stuff burning, just having a whole full stack of wood in here. 64 charcoal in the system. Uh, that will stay that way because this hopper right here is feeding the furnace from this chest. Um, so basically what happens is that's got to have a full stack of charcoal in it, which it does then the entire hopper has to fill up with charcoal as I outlined and it is and so now anything else that we create is going to start dumping into this chest so we've got 44 charcoal in here right now uh, as soon as one is needed for this sucker uh, it will feed from here which will then free up a spot so it'll feed one from here and into there but as you can see we are filling this chest faster than we're using them so this should be pretty much a lossless system um, we should completely fill up that double chest with charcoal eventually uh, as long as we keep feeding wood into this thing I will probably just get a couple of uh, I don't know maybe a couple rows of, uh, of charcoal in here and then I'll call that done and we'll just kinda leave that and whenever we need to uh, to do anything with it we'll use that um, also just a little interesting side note for you I don't know if you guys knew this or not but in my texture pack that is coal and I actually have done a little different texture for the charcoal just so I can tell them apart. I think the charcoal doesn't burn quite as long as the coal does um, but we can make torches out of it and honestly for what's in essence going to be free fuel sources without having to go all the way down to the blaze farm or anything like that um, just chopping out wood and reloading that sucker um, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Uh, I did use up all the wood that I had in this chest to do that little project um, I actually carved out all the wood that was in this thing once too but really the big wood expenditure for this little uh, little guy is just getting it off the ground now that like I said now that everything is filled up in the furnace and in there uh, really anything else we throw in here should get turned into charcoal without uh, really too much loss you know I'm probably I'm gonna guess without actually doing any research I'm gonna say we're probably gonna get about a three or four to one return so for every four logs that we throw in there we'll waste one of them so that we can burn some more charcoal so um, I think I can take a little bit of a hit on that um, again considering all the wood that we get for free um, I'll tell you what I'm probably gonna do a little bit of work um, off camera nothing really to show you right now it's, it's probably just gonna be an ongoing little side project of mine and if I find a solution for it I will let you know um, maybe I'll try and see if I can get a hold of Mumbo. Maybe he's got. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I even can. I know he's. He's. He. He admits he's pretty much impossible to get a hold of, especially on YouTube. Uh, I'm not really a Twitter guy, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a hold of him there either. But it might be worth a worth an attempt at least. Because like I said, uh, the only thing that bothers me about this wood farm is I know we've got it built up for seven blocks high uh, for the logs to come out, um, but we're only getting four block high logs. It appears that we're actually getting trees in here that are five blocks high so I would feel a little bit better about them but for some reason they're not actually pushing out here um, I'm not sure what's causing that uh, if any of you guys know this system and you can tell me what I've done wrong if I've done something wrong or if that's something that you've encountered as well 
Um, I would love to hear from you because, like I said, I can't figure it out. I, my initial thought was maybe, because really what's not, I, I thought, well, okay, maybe my pistons aren't pushing in here properly, and that would certainly um, support the fact that there is one log right here that is not doing anything, so any other logs that grow in might be too short. So I thought, well, maybe these top three logs aren't pushing, but if I go through and I double check all my redstone work, everything looks like it's done uh, correctly. Um, I, the only other thing that I could think was, at least on this top one, I thought, well, maybe we need to have a block here so that we're powering this piston underneath, just like we kind of, when we, when we were uh, doing the leaf crusher system, we had to have this extra row of uh, blocks up here to, to bud power, and I guess not really bud power, but to power these pistons. Um, so in order to try and get that to, to work, I actually did throw a block down there. Uh, which was a bad idea because then it fed the power right into this redstone, so I ca it caused the uh, entire the, the entire top row of this thing was just stuck out constantly. That was just a bad idea. So the next thing I did was I put a block behind this piston and up a block, so basically in the air block above the piston. Um, and then I ran the signal via half slabs here, here, um, put it a repeater on two, so basically we mirrored this and fed it into that block with redstone dust on top, similar to what we so we'd have a setup similar to what we have happening here. Um, that did indeed cause the pistons to push when I did some tests, but it still didn't cause, uh, cause a fix to that. So that might be an ongoing project of mine to try and see if I can't get this thing to work to full efficiency. Like I said, I'm not too worried about it because I'm getting, uh, God, 500 something logs, I think, out of this each time I, if I were to fill this thing up and chop them all down, which is a, certainly a, just a ton of logs. Um, but it would be nice to have the top three working as well since we've got the system set up to do it. So, like I said, I'll keep playing around with that kind of passively in the world. I don't want to spend, I don't think I want to spend any more time down here in the wood farm uh, working on any projects with you guys. But um, I feel like I've been just abusing this place in the last several episodes. So, um, yeah, there we go. So, there we go. We're definitely moving on with charcoal. But so I'm thinking maybe the next episode or something, like I said, we'll get out of here. Oops, helps to open that sucker up. We'll get out of here and maybe start doing some more, maybe just in more of an aesthetic build up here on the top of the hill to kind of fill in where our old tree farm was, um, give ourselves a little bit more beauty up here. And I'm not sure, um, other than that, there's still several projects that I've got that I want to, uh, that I definitely want to do around the base, but I'm kind of getting some itchy feet too. I, uh, I've been watching some B00 stuff lately. And um, I'm probably several ish, several episodes behind uh, his most recent video, but uh, he found a really amazing area that I would just kill to be able to build in. And I'm thinking maybe I'll go on a little search in an episode or two. And again, that's something. I'm not sure if I'll do that. Um, huh, apparently we're raining now. Not sure if I'll do that on camera. I've never really. I don't know. I'm, I I just feel really awkward when I do those sort of things for you guys. It's kind of tough to run around and talk, although I think I've managed to do it for the last couple of minutes here with you guys just kind of wandering around the base. But uh, I don't know, I, I may do some recording, see what I get, and if uh, if I feel like it's a decent enough uh, amount of footage and it's entertaining, then I'll maybe I'll throw an episode together for you guys of just looking for a new place. But um, not a new, I shouldn't say a new place, I'm definitely not going to abandon this, uh, this base. Um, it's definitely going to be uh, ground zero and where we base everything else that we do, but uh, I wouldn't mind maybe throwing another nether portal up down in the nether to maybe get us a couple thousand blocks away from here into another really super cool biome where we could maybe build some villages or some other really cool stuff. Um, like I said, I've got a, I've just got a bunch of more ideas that I'd like to do with you guys, whether it's here or in a uh, an extensive an extension of the base. I don't even know what we would call the place, but anyway. Um, We'll see how that goes, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this a video. Please give me a thumb up if you liked what you saw. It certainly helps out. Um, and if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.